How many times a day are you being watched? Probably like five to six. Actually, the average American is on camera almost 250 times a day. Cameras doing? watch us while we shop, eat, and go to work. The city of Madison alone owns more than 250 cameras. And we started our, our enterprise camera system and uh, traffic engineering kind of saw how cool it was and so it, it just has exploded in the last few years. The video is used to monitor crime hotspots and keep an eye on traffic flow, but the footage only lasts for about two weeks. And then after that it just gets overwritten. Now if something happens, an accident or a crime, then we can pull that video off and put it in an evidentiary area on the network in the police department or create a DVD. With all these eyes watching, what happens to all that data? I think surveillance, extensive surveillance, is here to stay. That's not necessarily always a bad thing, but we need to have some ground rules. UW's Robert Drexel is an expert in privacy law. He says there are plenty of privacy concerns when it comes to constant surveillance. There, there are lots of ways in which I think this, you could misuse material. You have to, well, what's the fundamental purpose? Well, the fundamental purpose is, first and foremost purpose, is safety. Leading the debate over what's public and what's private. It's not a simple matter of saying, well, you were in a public place and so, of course, anything goes in terms of surveillance. I don't think it's that simple.